This is the CMB power spectrum. The green part of this graph is the theoretical prediction calculated using the Big Bang model of cosmology together with dark matter and dark energy, otherwise known as the Lambda CDM model, the current consensus model in cosmology. The red dots and associated error bars are the actual measurements from the Planck satellite in 2018. As you can see, this is not some arbitrary fit. The calculated prediction matches exactly with every peak and slope of the real-world data, providing what is undeniably the most powerful evidence, not just for the Big Bang, but for dark matter, dark energy, and inflation as well. In short, this one graph is the strongest single piece of evidence in modern cosmology. To understand why, let's break it down. First, let's dispel of the myth that the Big Bang was an explosion. An explosion has a central point, but the Big Bang had no center. It is an expansion happening at and between every point in the universe. The Big Bang is supported by multiple independent cross-corroborating lines of evidence. From the redshift of galaxies, to observations of supernovae, to giant cosmic bubbles called baryon acoustic oscillations, observation after observation shows us the universe is expanding, and therefore, it was previously in a smaller, denser state in the past. The strongest evidence for the Big Bang, in my opinion, however, comes from the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB, often called the baby picture of the universe. The light from this background is the oldest, most red-shifted light in the universe, and it comes from every direction at once, forming a spherical tapestry of microwave radiation in the sky. The only known physics capable of producing such radiation uniformly from all directions at once is the formation of the first atoms from the plasma of the early universe. The formation of atoms out of plasma has been replicated in fusion reactors and particle accelerators around the world. It is the imprint from this early plasma universe expanding and cooling down to form atoms which created the light we are seeing when we look at the CMB today. The original light having been expanded from ultraviolet all the way to the microwave end of the spectrum in the intervening 13.7 billion years that it has been traveling to our detectors. It is not simply the existence of this background, however, which demonstrates that the Big Bang did in fact happen. The minute details and patterns written into this tapestry cannot be explained without a Big Bang. That's where the power spectrum comes in. First, we need some quick math background. Even the most complex functions can be broken down into many component sine waves, which are much more simple oscillations. When you add up all the individual sine waves, you get back the original complex signal. A similar mathematical breakdown can be done for complex spherical patterns as well. But instead of breaking down into sine waves, they're decomposed into what are known as multipoles. Each multipole has an associated L value. It is these multipoles and their associated L values which are plotted on the CMB power spectrum, from L equals 2 to L equals 2500. As the L values get higher, the angular resolution of their patterns also increases. Although the temperature of the CMB is remarkably consistent in every direction, there are slight variations on the order of about one part in 100,000. And when the CMB pattern is broken down into multipoles, the magnitude of these temperature fluctuations actually changes for different multipoles. This is the pattern that the power spectrum is depicting. How these temperature fluctuations are changing for different multipoles of the CMB. You can see that the L values and the corresponding angular scales are shown on the x-axis, while the magnitude of the temperature fluctuations is on the y-axis. For the CMB, plotting these values creates a very distinctive pattern of peaks and valleys, tapering off at higher L values. But how were cosmologists able to predict this pattern before it was measured? The CMB power spectrum can be constructed mathematically using just six fundamental parameters. If a mathematician was trying to recreate this pattern numerically, it could take dozens of degrees of freedom to replicate. But with just six parameters, cosmologists were able to predict a perfect fit. And these parameters include values which can be measured using independent means, 
such as the curvature of space or the total amount of dark matter and dark energy in the universe, which we can estimate by observing the behavior of modern galaxies, optical lensing effects, or any one of a half dozen other methods which all corroborate to yield the same value for each of these six parameters, independent of any CMB measurements. The key here is that we can take these parameters, obtained from completely unrelated observations, and use them to construct a prediction using the Big Bang model, which matches precisely with CMB measurements performed decades later. A tested, verified prediction of exacting mathematical precision. But there's more. In order to observe the power spectrum of the CMB that we see today, the oscillations which created that pattern need boundary conditions, similar to how a guitar string needs to be bound at each end in order to vibrate and make music. Boundaries are required, specifically boundaries in time. For the oscillations that created the CMB, all the various wavelengths across all multipoles need to start at the same zero amplitude point at time t equals zero, and they need to have the same ending point where the plasma cooled and atoms formed at t equals 380,000 years. These two time boundaries specifically give the exact pattern that we see in the CMB power spectrum today. So, just to recap, if the Big Bang did not happen, the CMB power spectrum would look completely different than our actual observations of it. It's the same for dark matter, dark energy, inflation, and a starting moment when all these primordial fluctuations were equal. Without a Big Bang, without the Lambda CDM model, there is no explanation for the pattern we see in the CMB power spectrum. No alternatives have been proposed capable of explaining the power spectrum. But when we account for these factors, using observations that have nothing at all to do with the CMB, values coming from independent methods, we are able to accurately predict the exact pattern of the power spectrum. This one chart shows beyond any reasonable doubt that the Big Bang happened. It is simply necessitated by the facts of this data. The Big Bang was used to predict this pattern precisely, and it is required to explain it. If you disagree, this is the data you must explain. Thank you for watching. Please share this video with anyone you meet who claims the Big Bang did not happen. And watch them squirm as they realize they have no alternative explanation for the shape of the power spectrum.